Hello all my lost girlfriends, my name is Forge and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Now this one is going to be one of the complicated ones out of the bunch because this could be all about custom items. Now as you can see, I'm myself a custom weapon, I have a custom superfood which whenever you eat it, it's going to go ahead and give you a buff, then we have a useless item which is going to be useful for just your standard crafting recipes, and then we have ourselves our test food as well, which of course acts like normal food. Now, I wanted to go ahead and do this tutorial because this is the complicated one as I mentioned and the complicated part is the weapons themselves. Now, getting the weapons to work, it's really, really difficult to actually do because you got to do all these different things for the player behaviors, uh, but I will go ahead and do my best to walk you guys through that, uh, but let's just go ahead and get right into the tutorial itself. So, as you can see, I have myself a folder right here, so now you guys can see it, but we have the items folder, the text folder, the textures folder inside of our test research pack or whatever your research pack is going to be called. But coming inside of here, we have ourselves different categories. We have ourselves our food, items, superfood, and weapons as I mentioned earlier. So beginning over here, we have ourselves all these different files. And make sure that you go and have this as identifiable as you can. So because if it's not identifiable, then you're going to have a lot of trouble later on down the road. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and see why this is not loading because it should be loading. Um, okay, there we go. It's loading now. So, as you guys can see, we have ourselves test food, which we have ourselves our format version, which will be 1.10, our Minecraft item, our description, our identifier, which is going to be the tutorial, test food. Now, the identifier, whenever you have yourself this as a certain word, you have to make sure that this is the same across the board. Okay, you cannot be different in every single file that you have. So let's say you have yourself a file within the behavior pack, make sure that that is the same identifier as it is right here. It cannot be any different. So anyway, mirror cells or format version 1.10 as I mentioned earlier, our description, identifier, category, nature, and then our components will be Minecraft icon, test, food. Now this is going to be the name of your texture that you have, so I'll go ahead and get onto that in a few moments. But we also got ourselves our use animation, which is going to be obviously the eat animation, and then results the Minecraft render offsets. This could be anything that has an item within the game. So it could be apple. If you want to be, you can maybe have it be carrot. I mean, it's pretty much up to you on what you want the offsets to be, uh, but the offset is just going to be on how it's going to render within your hand, and like where it's going to be placed and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and keep it as I had before, which is going to be apple. And I'm just going to go and close out of here. And this is going to be for the weapons. So the weapon, we have ourselves the same stuff as you guys saw before. But the category is now equipment. And in our nearest components, we have ourselves the icon and render offsets. But guess what? There is no uh, eat animation. So that's the only difference between this and, of course, the category. So, yeah, that's pretty easy right there. Now, for the offsets, I have that test weapon. So I did this just to show you guys that it doesn't have to be just a normal item within the game. It could be the offset of your custom item if you want to be that. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and close out of here and then we ourselves our superfoods, same as the normal foods as I showed you guys before, and then the items, same thing as I showed you guys before. Uh, but anyway, next up is going to be the, the text. Now inside the text file, we have ourselves all the different names for the items. So right here, we have ourselves item.tutorial. As I mentioned earlier, the identifier has to be the same across the board or else it's not going to work. So we have ourselves our test food, but then we have ourselves our name, test food right there. So it's actually very easy to understand all this stuff. Just go ahead and take a look at that and you should get the hang of it. Of course, I will actually have a template down below in the description. So you can go ahead and understand this a little bit more. Um, but for the weapons, as I mentioned, that is the complicated part. And I'm not looking forward to actually explaining that because... It's really, really, really complicated to understand. And so just be aware that I may not actually do very good for that one. Uh, but anyway, our next thing that we have here is going to be our textures. And as I showed you guys before for the icon, that is going to be the name of your items. So as you can see, we have ourselves our, our test food, our test item, test superfood, and test weapon. And as you saw before within the actual files, we actually have those as the icon names. It's that simple. So anyway, our item texture right here is also very simple to understand. So as you can see, we have ourselves our Minecraft research pack name, which is going to be vanilla. 
Now, make sure that you just keep this as vanilla, and so that way you understand this a little bit more. Because if you change it, it may end up breaking something and stuff like that. But anyway, we're also our texture underscore name, atlas of items, our texture data, our test weapon, which could be textures. Now, the textures directory is going to be textures, uh, and then the items folder, and then test weapon. It is that simple to understand, and then so on and so forth. And if you want to go ahead and expand this to introduce more different icons, stuff like that, uh, this is what you're going to want to do. You're just going to go ahead and copy paste that, and then go ahead and name this uh, whatever you want. So, like, whatever you want. So, YW. Well, I don't know why you wouldn't want to do that, but as you can see, we can just go ahead and do this, and then you can just go ahead and just enjoy the rest of the different stuff. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and close out of here. And we're going to move on to the next thing, which is going to be, oh boy, the be the behavior pack. You guys can tell I'm not excited about this because the behavior pack, it is really, really complicated. Uh, but let's just go ahead and get it over with. Here goes nothing. We're now inside the test pack, inside our behavior pack folder in our world. And as you can see, we have ourselves entities and items. Now, if I go inside, inside of here, this is going to be the easy part. But going for the entities, like the players, that's going to be another story. But as you can see, we have ourselves our format version. And then we have ourselves our micro item description, identifier, the same as we had before. Tutorial, test, weapon. And then we have ourselves components and equip. I keep this as false because that's what everyone else does. And plus, uh, I believe that this is only useful for armor and types of equipment, stuff like that. So make sure you just keep that as false. And so that way it will end up working. But then on here, we have ourselves Minecraft stack by data. We have true. And that is done for that one. The same thing is going to be used for the custom items. So as you can see, we have item and weapons. They're pretty much the same. And then this is going to be for the foods. Now this may look complicated, but it's not. Okay, yet again, we have and equip. Then we have stack by data. Then we have our use duration. I keep this at 32. We have foil false. Now foil means that it's going to be enchanted. So if I were to go and make this true, then it's going to go and add the enchanted glint. That's the only thing that means. It doesn't mean aluminum foil or anything like that. So you keep that in mind. Uh, but anyway, down here, we have ourselves our Minecraft food, our nutrition. Now this could be how many hunger bars that's going to go and refill. So if you want to refill all the way up, and you can make that 20. So like that's going to be the max, I believe. So make that 20 or whatever. But I'm going to go ahead and keep it at 4 for now. Then we have ourselves our saturation modifier. We have ourselves supernatural. And I'm not talking about the TV show right there. Uh, but then we ourselves can always eat. So for like a super item. You can always eat this item no matter what situation that you're in. It's like a golden apple. Now for the effects. This is going to be for your different potion effects that you're going to have. Like jump boost, resistance, water breathing. I have this as a chance of 1. So that means it's going to have a 100% chance of giving you that effect. If you go ahead and like change it to maybe like, uh, let's say 0.50, then it's going to have a 50% chance of having that effect. That's how that works right there. Uh, but anyway, down here, we have our duration. And then we have 15, so that's how many seconds it's going to last for. And then the amplifier is how powerful it is. So if you want to go ahead and go really high up, make that a 10. And then you go super high up into the sky like nobody's business. And that's how that works right there. It's actually really, really cool the way that this actually works. I really do like this. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and keep this as default. And then there's those normal foods. And we don't have any of this other stuff. We just have ourselves the use duration, 32. We have ourselves the max stack size. I keep this at 64. But you can make this whatever you want as long as it's less than 64. It can't be more than 64 because we know that a stack size in Minecraft is the max of 64. And you can just go ahead and make this maybe like 32. You can make this 16. You can even make this 1 if you want. Or maybe 5. It's pretty much up to you on what you want to do for the stack size. So then we have Minecraft food, nutrition, 6, and then saturation modifier. Now this is how long it's going to take before the hunger bar starts going down again. So if you have it on low, then it's not going to go ahead and take just a little bit of time before the hunger bar starts going down again. And then good, this means it's going to take a little bit longer. And then normal, it just means that it's just going to go ahead and take as long as it takes normally in Minecraft. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and close out of here. And that's pretty much it for all of this stuff. Now, here we go. Complicated part. 
Okay. Whew. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. I am being very hesitant right now because this is complicated. Okay, coming inside of your player.json and take a look at this. Yeah. This you guys can tell that this is gonna be complicated. So we have ourselves our Minecraft component groups tutorial standard player. So I'm gonna have this and then you have yourself all your different stuff right there. I'm gonna try to go ahead and explain this. So for the standard player, it's gonna remove the haste effect and you have yourself 20 health. Your movement speed is one, your attack is one. So that's your standard player. That's how it is by default. So then we have ourselves tutorial test weapon. Our Minecraft health is gonna be at 20 for the player. So when they're owning this weapon, they're gonna have a max health of 20. So I believe that if you were like change this to maybe like 10 or maybe five, then your player is just gonna have five health as long as you're owning the weapon. I mean, that's just what I think. I'm not entirely too sure. Uh, but anyway, going on here, our movement speed is gonna be 0 0.1. I'm not entirely too sure on what this does. I'm not sure if your player moves faster or whatever, but you know what? I think it just, I think that's just your normal speed. So then we have ourselves Minecraft attack and that's gonna be the damage of seven. So when you're holding this weapon and as long as you're holding this weapon, whenever you whack a mob, it's just gonna go ahead and well, do seven attack damage. That's how that works. So then here we have ourselves our environment sensor. So I'm gonna take a look at that. We have ourselves on environment filters, any of test, it's family, subject, self, value, player, then our event. And now down here, it's a player. We have ourselves the name of our weapon. So this could be tutorial test weapon. Now this doesn't necessarily have to be your weapon. This could be any of the items that you're making. So if you want to make yourself like a staff weapon or just a super weapon, or perhaps you want to go ahead and kill someone with a apple. I mean, whatever you want to use as the weapon, this going to have this be whatever you have as that item. I mean, I mean, just imagine just whacking someone with an apple. That will probably hurt actually. Um, Ow, I just got in there, there's an apple, but anyway, down here, we have the event, and then tutorial, host test weapon, ooh, what's this, a different one, ooh, well, okay, let's go take a look at this, so going down, we have ourselves our next stuff, so this could be for our events, so tutorial, holds test weapon, so you saw that right up there, and then results add component groups, tutorial, test weapon, so going back up here, we, as you can see again, we have ourselves our different environment sensors. We have tutorial test weapon, but that's not the one that we're looking at. We're looking at this one right up here where it says component groups. So yeah, this is gonna go ahead and be carried all the way down to the events section. So then down here, we have reset player. Yet again, standard player, which was the first thing that we saw. And then we have ourselves remove component groups, tutorial test weapon. And then we have ourselves Minecraft entity spawn, add component groups, tutorial standard player. And you guys go. That is pretty much it on this. I'm sorry if I couldn't explain very much about the weapons. It's just that the weapons are super complicated. And I, I, and you guys go. That's how you get yourself custom items, weapons, food, whatever in your Minecraft world. Now, this has been really, really difficult to actually do because the weapons, yet again, they were super complicated to actually understand. But if you want to go and understand weapons a little bit more, I recommend just looking throughout examples. I mean, that's like the best way to actually learn these type of things. Because for me, I just like to look through different examples, like different add-ons, stuff like that, just to try to figure out on what each thing does. Uh, but besides that, please let me know what you think of this down below in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed this video or found this useful in any way, shape, or form, then let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe for more videos in the future. And for now, I hope you have a logical day. And I catch you guys next time. And also.